Apple had a big year in 2020, unveiling their new products including the new Apple Silicon M1 chips, which have proved to be a major breakthrough for the company. Today we'll be looking at the future of the company, including some amazing products, so let's get into it. So starting with early 2021, which is going to be a big year for the Apple Mac. So we can expect an iMac, a Mac Pro, a 16-inch MacBook Pro and a 14-inch MacBook Pro all to debut with the new processors. Also, they are set to feature a redesign, particularly with the iMac, which currently has quite a dated design. So with that, we are looking at an iPad Pro-like design, possibly, to feature here, along with the M1X chip. With the Mac Pro, there is some talk about a smaller design, but I doubt that, as the Mac Pro does give amazing power and performance, and reducing the size may reduce that. But maybe Apple can fi find a way around that. In terms of later on in 2021, there is the iPhone 13, which is said to be portless. I think this would be okay, providing the MagSafe charger comes in the box. And looking at the MagSafe charger, I think Apple can make a cheaper one, a plastic-like one, like what they do with the Apple Watch. There's a more expensive one, which comes with the stainless steel versions of the watch, and a cheaper one, which comes with the aluminium versions of the watch. Then there's 120 Hz, which comes on the display coming this year, and possibly an in-screen Touch ID feature coming as well. So we're not too sure when iPad Pro is coming. It may be at WWDC, it may be in the March event, it may be as late as the iPhone event in September, but what we do know is it's set to include the A14X Bionic chip, but some sources say that the iPad Pro will include the M1 chip, which would just be crazy for the iPad Pro to have, but I'm not sure about that, as the M1 seems to be for the Mac, and yes you could say that Apple is trying to make the iPad Pro a computer, but then it would make sense to put it in the M1 in the 12.9 inch iPad, rather than both the 11 inch and the 12.9 inch version. But regardless, the A14X and the M1 are gonna give incredible power to the iPad. And this should allow for the Pro apps to be used on the iPad like Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro, which it should be able to do. And if they do add the M1 to the iPad, then it should be a given. But I'm hoping that even if they do just stick with the A14X, that it should come with the iPad OS update. Moving on to stuff a little bit later. Let's start with the foldable iPhone. So Apple are currently testing two models, one which is like the Galaxy Fold 2 and one which is like the Galaxy Z, Z Flip. This would be quite cool as it is about time for Apple to get into the market of foldable phones and I'm really excited to see that. They are said to be um, bringing only one of these models that they are testing to the iPhone line at first but hopefully they will eventually bring both to the iPhone lineup. So, moving on to the Apple Car, now there was a bit of confusion about the Apple Car and whether or not they are actually working on a car, but now it seems it is confirmed that they are working on a car and that they seem to be using LiDAR technology for their self-driving tech. We're not sure of the price range yet, but knowing Apple, it is likely to feature some really cool tech and have a really cool design. Now you'd think that because it's Apple, it's going to be a really expensive car, but in my view it can't be as in order for Apple to enter a market currently dominated by Tesla and compete with them, yes, they're Apple, so people are gonna buy their car, but for them to make a true success of the Apple car, they need to make it a competitive price, which people can afford. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more content on this and other cool stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.